path-breaking efforts were made by the electricity regulator during your tenure and continues to be to actually bring power tariffs, what consumers pay in line with the cost of power. So when you hear these two political parties at least talking in terms of 30%, 50% cuts from here on, what, 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 what do you think of them? Do you believe that they're getting into a domain which doesn't even exist for them? Well, at the outset, I would like to clarify one thing. The Central Electricity Regulatory Commission does not decide the tariff for Delhi because that is done by the Delhi Electricity Regulatory Commission. But I had this advantage. I was uh, for six years regulator in Maharashtra. And I also used to be chairperson of forum of regulators, where all the chairpersons are members. That's why I know the problems of Delhi. In fact, Delhi is a very good model of what the privatization can do. In fact, in Delhi, after privatization, the distribution losses, what we call as aggregate technical and commercial losses, ATC, they have come down from 55%, less than 15%. In fact, they are nearly 11 12%, which compares very well with Mumbai city, where the losses are in that range. So what has happened is that initially, naturally, the, as the losses were being brought down, there was no need to increase tariff much because the gains of efficiency were passed on to the consumer. Second reason is that the demand for electricity in Delhi has really galloped. Because I remember at one stage, the total demand of Mumbai city and Delhi was comparable. But now last summer, that was around 3,000 megawatt. Today, it has gone up to 5,000 megawatt on a hot summer day. That is another reason. And most important thing, this issue, when we talk about reducing the tariffs, we have to remember that if you were to take budget of any distribution company, 80% of the cost is the cost of power purchase. And since we were deciding the tariff of NTPC and also some of the hydropower stations in the northern region, you can very clearly see that these costs are only going up. You have got some old power station where the naturally the costs are low. But as you contract more and more new power, those costs are really prohibitive. And also there is a shortage of gas. So if you were to look at Dadri, so obviously if the gas is not available, then still you have to pay the fixed cost. So these are all the factors which clearly show that the costs are going up. And because of that, those costs get reflected. And also there was a phase that for nearly five years, regulator did not increase tariff of this distribution company. So that huge backlog has to be met. And even today, there is a, what we call as the regulatory asset. It is a very attractive term to use. What it basically it means that this is a loan which distribution companies have given to customers. And those customers have to pay that loan. And there is always a carrying cost of that loan. And that's why the regulatory assets cannot be easily liquidated. So all this burden, that's why the this increase which has to happen in a quantum steps is because of these factors. And still, the problems have not been solved. Because as CRC, we are facing this very serious problem that these distribution companies were not able to pay NTPC their dues on time. And also the Power Grid Corporation. So in fact, they have come to us. There was one stage where they were about to cut supply. And that's what our Central Commission rules allowed, what we call her. Yes.